So we're talking about scheduling, scheduling your reports or your migrations, how you can manage your scheduled tasks and so on, and a few things to keep in mind. Let's pretend we do a quick migration between on-prem environment. And whatever the migration type is, you're going to have pretty much the same options. And when you're here, you're ready to migrate, click the schedule button. And there, give your task name so that it's easier to recognize down the line, set a start date, time and possibly a recurrence let's say every week and starting on the 19th which means it's going to run every tuesday and i hit schedule see if you're brought right away to manage your scheduled task and then you're brought to the list of all your different tasks that you have scheduled maybe it was just a one-time thing maybe it's on a recurrence but they're all here and you'll see i have copy one item from documents to photos i have orphan user report. I have import from file share. So you have different types of operations that you can schedule. If we go back, let's say to a report, let's just take that basic site collection report. Well, if I want to run the site collection report on my tenant every week, well, I just have the same options. I just click schedule and it's pretty much the same. It's really that simple. While we're here, maybe quick uh, highlight on the setup automatic export. Whether you are scheduling your reports or not, you also have the option to set up an automatic export export of that report or maybe your migration report when it's a migration so that it is shared automatically to the uh, document library of your choice. Now, what you have to keep in mind when you are scheduling migrations is that ShareGate doesn't really save your credentials. It saves the authentication token that was obtained when you set up your connection. And therefore, depending on how authentication is set up in your environment, that authentication token will last for a set period of time. Let's say I go and add a connection. If I was to use current Windows user, well, the current Windows user is the logged in user. So this can probably just repeat itself. It's not going to be an issue for scheduling. Your reports will run whenever. Most of the time, especially when we're talking about SharePoint Online, you're going to have to use the browser authentication. Now, this authentication token that we get there, it's really a short lifespan, often a week. 72 hours, 48. Well, the issue is that if you have that set up and that it's expired after two hours, well, when you go back to your scheduled task and this attempts to run providing the authentication token we obtained, but the token is expired, your migration or your report won't run. I've heard customers say, my tokens are set not to expire or they expire after a month. So this is the kind of thing you'll have to consider. What you can do though, if there's no way to extend the lifespan or be excluded from our multi-factor authentication that would allow you to use another method that does last a little bit longer, <laughs> is the ability in your scheduled tasks to edit your credentials. One last thing is that ShareGate needs to be active for your operations to run. So if you have scheduled tasks, you don't want to close ShareGate altogether and then sign out from your Windows session because then ShareGate is not running and therefore can't pick up that you have a scheduled task to run. These are the things, generally speaking, that you have to keep in mind when you want to schedule either migrations or reports using ShareGate.